Ron Vitello, former acting director of ICE. Ron, I've got so many questions for you, but let me start with this, the political, because as John reported, and as we, here's the headline, in 2014, President Obama diverted $270 million in disaster aid to deal with a crisis at the border. Um, it is something that has happened under different administrations, both parties, and both parties have also at one point held the presidency, both the House and the Senate, and yet our immigration system is not fixed. Are you tired of the politics, as I think many Americans are, are surrounding this whole thing? Yes, it's a little tiresome. This is this is something that happens sort of as a matter of course. This is this is business as usual. In the 2014 crisis, we did not have family detention or family residential centers to move those families into safe custody so that they could have their immigration hearings. And so many of them were being released. Uh, everybody wanted to solve that problem. That problem in 2014 is five times smaller than the problem that's on the border today. And so these funds are important. And so what, what you said in your report, what you showed in the report, uh, they're buying adult detention beds and then they're funding the facilities for the migrant protection program. Both of those are important features of us getting out of the biggest problem we have on the border in decades. Okay, so with all of this uh, as a backdrop, uh, and you say that the plan is, or the what's happening now, and the numbers there are exponentially worse at the border. We know that Congress, uh, I think it was $4.6 billion, they passed that for humanitarian aid at the border, but they did not want any of that money. They couldn't have gotten the Democrat votes if it was going to be for more detention beds. So you talk about this, and John talked about the number of families and people that have to be released. Um, you know, for critics who look at this and say Democrats are complaining about something President Obama did, they will argue that essentially the Democrats' plan amounts to open borders. Because if you can't detain people and all you can do is release them into the U.S., how does that solve the problem? Yeah, that's, that's exactly right. You have to have people, you have to have a detention spot for people to have their hearing. They have to be detained until they can be removed. And if you don't do that, you effectively have an open border. People will come into the custody of the Border Patrol, they'll be booked in, they'll be released at the border, and then we many of them will never go to their asylum claim hearing or their immigration hearing so holding the line for single adults is important the migrant protection protocols also give the department an important feature where people can wait for their hearing in mexico that'll eventually reduce the need for detention in the united states but that program was was designed in the last several months. This budget was developed and submitted by the president in February of 2018. So lots of changes to the dynamics at the border, not only the surge, but the capabilities that the department has. Okay, and quickly, the other side is going to argue uh, that what the administration is doing, a number of their asylum plans and immigration plans are tied up in court right now, uh, and that's the process. But they'll also argue that these conditions are not good. They're not good for kids. There is lasting damage. They're not good for the adults that are being held either, uh, and that it is preferable and more humane to let people go rather than keep them in facilities um, that are not, uh, by their claims, uh, they're not sanitary, they're not safe, they're not comfortable. So the detention that space that ICE operates, both for families and single adults, has very, very high standards. But it needs to be funded. It's not, it's not inexpensive. There has to be an allocation toward that capability so that we can have a secure border, so that we can have an immigration system that has integrity. It doesn't allow people to just show up at the border um, and then claim that they're uh, they need asylum and then we just release them. Uh, this, this capability needs to be funded appropriately. Well, folks have a lot of work to do on the Hill from both sides of the aisle on this. Ron Vitello, thank you.